This is Mark Summers from Summers Technical Services. I'm going to do a uh, SolidWorks tutorial little video this morning showing some techniques of doing some cable routing, in particular some RF cable routing using the uh, routing module in SolidWorks. So I've got my chassis design started here. I've already placed some uh, cables already and I'm going to continue that. I've got some SMA connectors on the front panel and I'm going to route those to some SMA connectors on some switches inside the chassis. So the first thing I do is go to my design manager, design library, and I've got an SMA connector here that's got some mate references so that a little snap to the mate references on these mating connectors. So you can see it snaps right to it there. So when I let go of it, it jumps into uh, the route property dialog box and it gives it a default name type is going to be a harness and I'll type in my diameter of my cable bundle in this case is 140 thousandths so I'll approve that and it'll activate that assembly and it'll jump me into the uh, auto routing routine which I don't want to do just yet because I still need to add another connector so when the auto route dialog box pops up I'll just exit out of that and now I want to place the next connector which is going to go on this switch right here so I'll again open up the design library pull out my uh, SMA connector and sometimes it's a little tough so I just want to snap to that middle one but if I'm patient and we're going to mouse around here a little bit. Or maybe not. It wants to continue to snap to that middle one for some reason. Yeah, just for the sake of the tutorial, we'll just let it snap to that middle one right there. And once I get the second one in there, that's enough. I just have uh, two connectors in each uh, cable assembly. So now I'll go over to my uh, electrical tab and go to the auto, auto route, get that dialog popped up again. And on auto route, I just select the two endpoints my two little stubs there and say OK. Now I've routed my, routed my cable. I'm done with my assembly so I'll get out of that component edit and there's my cable and it's got a virtual component built into my assembly and it's parametric so I can change the uh, spline there and if these components ever move the uh, cable will update automatically. So that uh, takes care of the tutorial for today. Uh, stay tuned for other routing videos from Summers Technical Services.